Pizza. My Barbie. I really like playing with a real life microscope. My my little kitty. It's my favorite because it's like a kitty, but it's in the like a kitty in the water. Parties every day. You can make him have the biggest cake in the world. I wish that everyone had their own pet. If they had their own pet, they um, could play with their pet when they were born. Something that they'd be wishing for. Yeah. Everyone in the world had they, their wish. A family. Corvallis is a unique place. It's a wonderful place to live. It's a wonderful place to grow up. It's a wonderful place to raise my own kids. And it's a place where I think the, the, the experience of poverty in Corvallis for many students is fairly invisible. You know, there were some students living in tents this year when in October when it just started raining and raining and raining. And every time they looked outside these two little ones, they would just cry because they knew that they were going home to live in a tent in the pouring down rain. And that's not a student that can just learn and play and grow. Their minds are not on their education. Their minds are often on their stomachs or their next placements. And so it's hard to learn. I love that we have a public schools foundation in Corvallis willing to step in and to support, willing to step in and say what is the need and how we can meet it. And so I would encourage everyone who is willing and considering giving to the foundation to put the faces in front of them of kids who come to school without the food that they need, come to school without a good night's sleep, come to school not sure if they're loved and safe, and know that we are working hard with the foundation to get those kids what they need so they can come to school and learn, so they can come to school and grow, so they can come to school and graduate so they can come to school and to become adults who break the cycle of poverty and are able to give to their kids what their families have not been able to.